Here is how you create a rotating background theme. Right click on your desktop, Windows 7, and choose Personalize. Choose Desktop Background, and we click the Browse button here. The Browse button gives us the opportunity to select any folder on our hard drive to pull wallpapers from. You can either click to expand and scroll, or you can type my pictures, which is what I prefer. Use the right arrow key to expand that folder. Idaho wallpaper, and I'm going to use mine that are pre-sized 1280 by 800. Okay, by default, it selects all of them and goes to fill in 30 minutes shuffle. Okay, so I'm going to show you the difference between the different picture positions here. I'm going to select just this one here that's in portrait instead of landscape. Now, right now it's on fill. Okay, now if you see this picture here, it's got the mountain right in the middle. And now I see the, this one here, that mountain's a whole lot bigger. So what fill does is it zooms in. So if you look closely at this here, you can see it's kind of got this little, shows the image goes off to the side. So it zooms in on the picture to fill the whole frame. If we go to stretch, now that mountain is a whole lot shorter and a whole lot wider. So what stretch does is it stretches it out so it fits the frame. If we go to tile, now we have two mountains, it repeats it, it tiles it to fill the frame. Now the difference between fit and center comes down to what size the picture is. If you go with fit, it will either enlarge or reduce the image, maintaining the same aspect ratio to fill the screen, whereas center will just display it at its original size, centered. So some of the image might go off the top or off the bottom or it might have a black border all the way around it. If the pictures are all pre-sized, in this case the pictures are all 1280 by 100, so you can go with either fit or center and that will work just fine. So you can in here you can multi-select by clicking on them in the checkbox, like that, or you can hit, use the arrow key or the mouse to draw a box around the ones you want, or you can just hit select all can change your picture duration from anywhere from 10 seconds to one day. 30 minutes is probably pretty good. 10 seconds might make you feel a little neurotic. I'm going to leave it at 10 seconds. There it is. By the way, these pictures are all pictures I got off of Flickr. They're an Idaho theme. Uh, Boise, Weezer area. So let's go ahead and save that. You can also change... Oh, I forgot. In here in desktop background, if you're on something besides tile or stretch or fill, so we were on fit, you'll have this option to change background color. If you don't have that, that means you're on fill or one of the other ones. So we're going to go back to fit and change background color. This is the color that's around the border here. So in this case I have black. If the image fits perfectly, you won't see the border. So you can choose any background color you want here. It may not look good with your pictures, although that's really a matter of taste. White and black are probably the two most common colors, but you know, like I said, it's a matter of taste. What do you want for your color? I'm going to go with a chocolatey looking color. Okay, so there's that. Let me hit save changes. We're going to create a theme, and then part of the theme also includes the sounds and the window color. And I think the screensaver as well, but I'm not going to mess with the screensaver. So I'm going to go with this chocolatey color again for the window border. That's this color up here, see? Green, red, go with chocolate. That's what it's actually called, chocolate. You can actually do some advanced stuff and get creative with that if you really want to. Once you've done all this, make all the changes you want. So I've got my rotation down to 10 seconds, my pictures selected, my background color selected and my rotation time. Then we hit right here, it says save theme. We give our theme a name, Idaho. Hit save, and there we go, it's created. Now the advantage of creating a saved theme is if I change to a different theme, then I can always change back again. Otherwise you have to go back in and reselect it and make sure all your configurations are exactly the same. If you change this theme, 
or if you want to delete the theme if you don't like it anymore, you can select a different theme. So right now my only option is I right click our save theme and save theme for sharing, which lets you share your theme with your friends. We'll go back to Windows 7 theme. And I can right click and then my option is to delete it. And that's how to create a rotating wallpaper theme. And you can do it on whatever you want to. Flickr is a great place to get the images.